In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use these matte cap materials that come with the free version of Blend Full Web. And I'll show you how to modify a matte cap image to make these glass monkeys. And at the end of the tutorial, I'll talk about what matte caps are and how they work. Press X to delete the cube, add mesh monkey and change shading to smooth. Change the display shading to material, select the lamp and move it down. Duplicate, shift D and enter and move the duplicate so that it lights up the monkey's face. Select the monkey Click the Material button, click the New Material button, click the Texture button, click the New Texture button. Texture type image or movie we want, click both. In the Image panel, click Open. Go to the folder where you have your matcap files. I'll show you where to get them from later. Click Thumbnails, click Matcap 1 and Open. Scroll down and change mapping coordinates to normal and that's it we now have a golden monkey change blender render to blend for web click the render button click set recommended options click fast preview and we get a golden monkey in a web browser window Blend for Web comes with a set of matcap files. They're in the Blend for Web folder, the Deploy folder, Assets, Dev, Matcaps. The matcaps are numbered 1 to 14, and there is an additional Chrome external matcap. Each matcap comes in a range of different file formats and resolutions. The main files are either in the PNG image file format or the JPG JPEG format. I have copied the main files to a new folder. Clicking Details, I've added the Dimensions column and we can see that all the images are square and either 512 by 512 or 256 by 256 pixels in resolution. You can see all the matcaps used by going to the Blend for Web folder, the Blender folder, Materials, and opening the material matcap.blend file. All the matcaps have been mapped to monkeys, and the gold matcap has been mapped to other objects as well. It is a good exercise to map all the matcaps two objects, it doesn't take long and it lets you see what the map caps look like when applied to objects. The first map cap I'm going to apply is the Chrome map cap. In this file the next monkey is numbered 1. When I add a new material it's numbered 1. When I add a new texture it's numbered 1. So I'm going to map the matcap material number one to it to keep everything in step. I'll do one more. I'll put this file for you to download at my website. I'm changing only one setting, the mapping coordinates to normal although you can change other settings and I will be changing the settings for this material matcap number two later in the tutorial. This is the finished file which again I'll put at my website for you to download. Next I'm going to look at a glass effect using matcaps. I've used the monkeys again but this time in the real-time reflections panel I have made the monkeys reflexible and I've made the plane reflective. The monkeys will make reflections and the plane will display them. 
For a glass effect, click the Material button, click the New Material button, set the Specular Shader to Blin, and set Emit to 0.5. Scroll down and click Show Transparency. Set Alpha to 0.75 and type to Alpha Blend and uncheck back face culling. Click the Texture button, click the New Texture button. Set the Mapping Coordinates to Normal and open the matcap 2 image file and click Fast Preview. And we get a transparent glass-like material. I have jumped ahead and set up the other colours, but where did I get the matte caps from for the other colours? You can use photo editing software to change the colour of matte cap to. I'm going to use Blender, change the timeline window to a node editor, and change the 3D view to a UV image editor. Click Use Nodes and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the Render Layers node and press X to delete it. Add Input Image. Click the Open button. Find the MacCap2 image file and open. Connect up the nodes and click the Render button. The original image was 256 by 256 pixels. Set the percentage to 100 and click Render. There are a huge number of processes we can put in between the input and the output. To make the green glass, I separated the colours and then recombine them, swapping the red and green channels. Simpler than that is to use the Hue Saturation Value node, altering the Hue value we can get all the colours of the spectrum. Reducing the saturation takes the colour out of the image, eventually becoming black and white. I try to make a clear glass with a hint of green. To save the new matcap image file, in the image menu, save as image, go to the folder where you want to save the file and give the file a meaningful name and save. Next, I'm going to try and answer the questions, what are matte caps, how do they work, and what are their advantages and disadvantages. Matte cap is short for material capture. They are materials captured as image files and usually appear as a sphere with the material applied to it. Only pixels from the spheres are used and the sphere should go right to the edge, otherwise pixels from the background will be used. So how do matte caps work? I want to do a comparison. This Coke can has an image UV map to it, and when I change the viewing angle, the image stays stuck to the mesh. Compare that with the reflection of the monkey in the cube as I change the viewing angle, the reflection moves across the surface of the cube. If I'd UV mapped the reflection, it wouldn't move. Looking at the Blender manual mapping coordinates for normal, uses the direction of the surface's normal vector as coordinates. This is very useful when creating certain special effects that depend on viewing angle. Normals are vectors here represented by the blue lines that are perpendicular to the faces of a mesh. In this scene, I've mapped this image 
to these mesh objects using mapping coordinates normal. As I change the viewing angle, the mapping moves around the mesh objects. Notice the face of the cube goes to blue, to black, to blue, and then to white again. And if we look at the back of the monkey's head, where we are looking straight down the normal vector, we get pixels from the centre of the image. Where we're looking at the side of the normal vector, we get pixels from the edge of the image. And for the angles in between, we get the pixels in between. What are the advantages of matcaps? Because matcap rendering fully bypasses material shader code, it is just a few lines of GLSL code, so it will be just a few lines of WebGL code. It's a very fast rendering option for modeling and so ideal for real-time rendering. Blender comes with 24 matcaps, but they've been compiled into Blender so you cannot easily get at the image files. Another advantage is that you get materials designed by top designers using the best software and it's not that difficult to change the colours or other properties of the images. One obvious disadvantage is that it is a trick and the reflections haven't come from the scene that the object is in. And they may give an object a nice material but it's not the whole story for instance, they won't give an object dirt in the corners. Image resolution may be an issue, and you can't tweak the nodes that may have made the original material. That's the end of this tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.